Naughty Boy has candidly opened up about his struggles with caring for his mum who suffers from dementia. Naughty Boy has told how he can find caring for his mum, who suffers from dementia, to be overwhelming at times. In an exclusive interview, the DJ, whose real name is Shahid Khan, spoke about how the diagnosis has changed his life. Naughty Boy told how he now lives with his mum as he looks after her, resulting in a change in dynamic in their relationship. Speaking about the impact it's had, the star told how he couldn't do it without his network of support. He said, caring for my mum has been the biggest adjustment in my life. Having this huge responsibility of looking after this person and ensuring they're safe and well can be overwhelming at times. I wouldn't be able to cope without our live-in carer, as well as the supportive friends and family I have around me, he admitted. He went on. I can see why someone might feel guilty making time for themselves when they are a full-time carer for their loved one with dementia, but having my sister and niece here every weekend really puts my mind at ease. They keep her safe and take care of her, which enables me to have space to focus on other aspects of my day-to-day -day life, whilst building my career. It's really important to give yourself a break when you're caring for someone with dementia. To make sure you're looking after your well-being, he added. The star also opened up about a beautiful moment with his mum during her illness. Speaking about his relationship with his mum, the DJ told how she reflects on earlier times in her life. Naughty Boy said, she often shares stories of her past, particularly about her younger years and I get to learn new aspects of her life that I never knew before. She recently told me that she used to write poetry in college, she recited one of her poems in Urdu to me, it was really beautiful. The star told how his mum, Zahida, was diagnosed with the disease in 2019, after a stroke two years before. He said, it's easy to start thinking like a victim but it's when I started talking that everyone changed. I am not alone in this. We have a live-in carer for my mum, for the past three years and before I was googling dementia, initially we went through 13. But everyone needs to have that respite because, during COVID I was working from home as well, he explained. 